My name is Madison Nguyen. I am a council member with the city of San Jose. I grew up in a very large family with uh, very limited resources. We have uh, received public subsidy from the local government. Um, I grew up in a small town called Modesto. And I remember um, because there are nine siblings uh, in the family, nine kids, um, with m both of my parents working two, three jobs. It's very hard to, uh, you know, give us money for uh, to use for amenities like buying books. And so the uh, the local library um, is the place where I usually go to um, spend some time and read lots of books. Tolly Branch Library in my council district represents one of the most diverse uh, libraries uh, probably in the nation. The Tully Library, it's to me, it's, it's such a cultural gem uh, simply because it represents such a diverse atmosphere for our residents. Uh, since most of our residents um, speak mostly Spanish or Vietnamese, um, the library also offers books in Vietnamese and also Spanish, which is very crucial uh, for families to maintain the traditional language at the same time offering the uh, ability for uh, some of their kids to learn English as a second language. And so um, I can't think of a, a, a better uh, venue uh, to have in a district that is so unique and so diverse as the Tully Branch Library. Now, f with the Martin Luther King um, Junior Library, this has to be the most innovative and the most effective partnership um, and collaborations that the city of San Jose has with uh, San Jose State University. Here we have this great um, place for students, university students, to come and study, to uh, borrow books, um, just a safe haven for them to, uh, to come and enjoy the various services Services that the library offers. I love biographies. I've read uh, pretty much all the biographies that authors write about the various uh, presidents of the United States. And I've always uh, found uh, such a huge fascination with their lives, with the things that they have been able to do to contribute to this country, uh, to the world around them. And I believe that's one of the reasons why um, I always wanted to become a public servant. I have, at a very young age, uh, set a goal for myself that whatever I wanted to do in life, in my life, that I wanted to give back to the community that has given me so much. I'm Nancy Pyle, a council member for District 10 for the City of San Jose. I couldn't live without a library. And we are so fortunate in the city of San Jose to have so many beautiful ones. The Martin Luther King Library is absolutely exceptional, and I believe it's world-class standards, and I think you would be hard-pressed to find anyone that has something better to offer. We have uh, wonderful neighborhood libraries as well. Uh, we, we had a bond measure not too long ago, maybe 10 years ago, and, and so many were built. They're all state-of-the-art. They're all really user-friendly and very, very attractive. But the Elmaden Library is, of course, my favorite because that's in the district, uh, as are others, but that just happens to capture my heart. I spend more time there than anywhere else uh, because we either have community meetings or some get-together forums, you name it. We've had all kinds of activities there. And I meet with the seniors monthly. Uh, I meet with, or as often as I can, other groups as well. So it satisfies that need, but it also is there for any kind of reference materials that might be needed. And it's, we also have about 4,400 people a day that go in and out the door. So it's a widely used, very beloved library. Hi, my name's Willie McDonald. I'm the fire chief here in the city of San Jose. During the time that I was in college and in the um, degrees that I've gotten since that period of time, um, I've been able to spend time in libraries where no one knows that I'm there and I can kind of just really enjoy the time that I'm there, not only because of the reference and the reference that I could do off the internet or other ways um, seems to be much more greatly enhanced when I can actually talk to somebody who knows how to do reference work. So. When, when I have days like I've had today that I feel like I've done a lot of activity and everyone is pulling at me in many different ways and presenting me with all of these issues, um, being able to um, kind of recoil and relax and kind of refresh myself uh, by myself in a place like a library where it's quiet and I can kind of move at my own speed really provides me with um, a good kind of re relaxation that I really can't get anyplace else. So that's one of the main reasons that I like spending time in libraries because it's my time. I live in downtown San Jose. Uh, we're fortunate to have the oldest library in the valley, 
the East Carnegie Library, which has recently been beautifully remodeled to preserve the old historic building as well as a new modern wing as well. My father grew up only a few blocks away from where I live today. And uh, he described to me how for many years growing up that he would take the bus out to East Santa Clara Street um, after school to read at the East Carnegie Library. And at the time, it was an opportunity he knew for families, immigrant families in particular. Uh, my grandfather was an Italian immigrant. And uh, at the time, most of the immigrant families were either Italian or, or Spanish-speaking uh, or uh, in, in parts of Japantown near where my father lived, uh, Japanese-speaking as well. And so my father would describe all these different languages that he'd hear in East Carnegie Library and how wonderful it was. And, and remarkably around story time, the stories would be told in English, and that was an opportunity for the kids to learn English in their homes. Um, now you can go out to East Carnegie Library, and of course you still hear Spanish, but you hear so many other languages as well. As the community has changed, um, we have a wonderful Portuguese community out there, a uh, Portuguese-speaking community, I should say. Uh, we also hear languages from all across the globe, uh, including Tagalog, uh, Laotian, Cambodian, uh, Vietnamese, of course, and many other languages. And I, I think about the remarkable role that our libraries play in integrating children in this melting pot uh, into uh, a community that uh, recognizes and hopefully um, takes pride in the remarkable diversity uh, that it has at the same time uh, that it helps us all achieve in uh, this predominantly English-speaking world uh, that we live here in the, in the United States. I really hope that uh, our libraries can continue to play this anchor role in our communities to bring people, uh, people of all languages and, and uh, income levels and ethnicities together uh, to give children an opportunity to learn and to give communities an opportunity to share ideas.